Step 1. Outline plan. Plan the outline of the building and the location of the door and window openings on a conventional footing or slab that is level, straight and square. Then line the inside perimeter of the plan with lengths of suitably sized timber. These will act as guides for the initial placement of the thermohouse elements. Step 2. The first course. Place corner blocks, TH17s, on each corner. Then lay the TH16 towards the centre of each wall segment. Install a TH17R for the enclosure at the location of each door. Complete installation of first course with TH16s, cutting to length where required. Install horizontal steel reinforcement where directed by placing it on top of the internal webs within the block cavity. Step 3. The second course. Install the second course of blocks so that it is offset from the first in a running bond pattern. At this point, recheck for level across all of the blocks. If the courses are not level, use shims or trim the block as required. Step 4. Apertures. Use Thermohouse TH17R blocks at each location where doors and windows are required. Step 5. Additional courses. Install additional courses of block by continuing to overlap the courses so that all joints are locked above and below by overlapping blocks. Step 6. Alignment bracing. Remove guide timbers prior to installation of the alignment bracing. Install the alignment bracing around the entire wall of the structure to ensure that the walls are straight and plumb and to enable alignment adjustment before and during the pour. Reinforced steel bracing units are to be placed at 1.5 metre intervals. The bracing units also have a dual purpose of providing a safe and secure framework to facilitate the pouring of the concrete. Place blocks to the full wall height of the single storey construction. Step 8. Pouring concrete. All concrete will be 10mm aggregate with an S3 slump, which is 100mm to 150mm. Start the pour at a corner and fill the wall to one third of full height around the entire perimeter. Continue pouring in one direction and return to the original point. Note that the concrete should be poured in three instalments for each floor. Use a slender concrete vibrator, maximum 25mm diameter, to vibrate the mix, 
which will remove all air pockets within the wall and will obtain full compaction of the concrete.